Hey guys, I'm in the process of uh, installing my camera, my FPV board cam on the, uh, the MXP. Uh, so I'm just decided to uh, show you how I, I usually mount mine. Now, um, I do the same thing on my uh, my hover things flip. Uh, but luckily, this one, there's uh, the slots that are right here on each side is the, uh, the exact uh, distance or the width of this board cam. Uh, US usually this is the OSD one, the biggest plug. So that goes on the bottom. So you just have to be mindful, because this is kind of a permanent install. Once you do it, like you're gonna have to cut the zip ties and take the double-sided tape off. So you just want to make sure you have your uh, camera the right side up. Uh, this camera is a Sony 960H, an 800 TVL. The model number is CC1526 and uh, a surveillance zone sent it to me uh, to try out. So I'm going to put that in this and uh, see how it is. So, yeah, but yeah, the backing, I don't have uh, the backing that I had for this metal case, don't fit the, uh, the plug layout. I can't remember now if I said that or whatnot, but. So basically, all I'm going to do is put a little bit of uh, double-sided tape. Me personally, I like to have my camera tilted just a little bit up, which is fine uh, because when you're in fast-forward flight, you know if you've got any kind of angle, and if you if you don't have a wide uh, wide lens, I think this is the stock 2.8. Um, you're going to be looking at a lot of ground, right? So. Usually I like a little bit of an angle, which those pivot mounts kind of come in handy for that if you want. Um, so I usually just put a little bit of foam tape here, mount it where I want, and we're just going to build a little square, square um, zip tie box if you want to call it that. So you kind of got to do, you kind of got to just start where you want and uh, don't don't bring it in too tight first so just make a normal box if you if you want and uh, what you you gradually do is uh, keep making it smaller so this is what you're you're kind of with, and I just made the mistake of putting the top one on. <laughs> so now I have no way to actually slip it through there. So I just screwed that up. It's only 3:30 in the morning. All right, let's try this again. So you make your box out of your. Um, Three, and you leave. Yeah, so let me see here now. Slide it up like so. You just keep, um, you bring it in until that lines up with your slot. Okay, and you're going to take your other one. Slip it down through. Okay. Now what you were going to do is you put your camera where you want it. Our little cube made out of zip ties. So now I'm just going to take a little piece of foam, some foam tape, just to keep it stationary. So we kind of get an idea of how long we need it. I always trim it up after. Pretty good. I'm just going to trim this off in half. And just make sure you know what side is what side. If you don't want to install your camera upside down and you're going to, then you're going to have to take it all apart again. 
we've got our cube made and um, pre-adjusted it and we're just going to mark your camera where you kind of want it let me see if we can get this over this and hopefully I didn't snug it in a little bit too tight get this side over here there we go so you can leave it a little bit loose snug your camera uh, mount your camera with the tape and that kind of keeps it there now I'm just gonna tighten in our zip ties top and bottom let's see if we can snug them up on the bottom I'm going to get it super tight, but that seems okay. And that should be enough to keep it there. And then we can just uh, trim off our excess. So there we go. And if you wanted to uh, put a zip tie across here to keep it on the mounts, that's fine. If you have a, a big enough zip tie, you can double some up if you like. Let's see if I got another one there, just to keep it to keep it it'll keep it from any uh, vibrations or anything, and keep it secure. And I've had mine mounted on my clip now for quite some time and it hasn't moved. So you just want to be extra, extra secure about it. There we go. This is going to put a little bit of an angle what I want. A little bit of back angle to, for when you're in uh, fast forward flight there. Like that. Turn those off. And that's not that's not going nowhere could have made that a little bit tighter so we'll just put our top plate back on just to show you I don't uh, following X Hubbard's video and uh, I decided not to put thread lock on the top the top six screws so you, you want to be taking this on and off a lot you need to do anything I'm gonna to have to take this off again I'm just putting this back together now for the night because I'm waiting on a uh, the dual step down voltage regulator and filter from ready-made RC because I want to power my camera and VTX off the main flight battery. I forgot this is a hex. Yeah, so I'm waiting on that. So I, once I get that, I need to uh, then I will uh, take it apart again. I'm gonna have to take the bottom off actually because I need to um, solder to the power distribution board again. I don't know if that's going to be in, uh, too much. I might put a bigger lens on this yet. I'm going to try it anyways. First. Try it first and see. If 
but I'd rather, you know, 90% of my flight time is in fast forward flight with pretty good, pretty good angles. So usually I take off an attitude or while this was going to be with the Nazi, it's, um, angle or I think or horizon yeah angle is uh, attitude horizon is sort of like the way CC3D has ratitude which is you're in attitude and once you reach a certain angle it goes into rate mode you let go to stick at the soft level like attitude so it's kind of best of the both worlds I have it set up anyways on a three position switch for uh, <clears throat> angle and then horizon and then uh, just straight uh, rate so anyways guys that's how I uh, that's how I normally mount my FPV cameras to uh, to my frames it uh, works with a little bit of tape make your little uh, zip tie box and uh, you are good to go and that's that's not going anywhere so anyways till next time uh, see you later